channel everybody today we're doing a little bit of a different type of video i'm just going to be going over as you saw in the title i am going to be competing in a bodybuilding competition and so i just kind of wanted to go over what competition i was doing how i'm going to prepare for that all the details about that uh, what i think about competing and all that type stuff so first uh, the competition i'm competing in it's going to be a total body championship and it's in tupelo i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right again i'm not around here but uh, it's gonna be this it's through mpc so obviously it, it's not a uh, it's not a tested show for anybody who knows about bodybuilding competitions and so i'm gonna be doing it naturally so i'll be competing against people who are on roids and on different types of cycles of gear and stuff but i personally i'm just not gonna do that i'd rather just do it naturally because uh, it, it just feels i feel like it's gonna feel better to beat people who are on roids while I'm natural, you know what I mean? Cause like there are, there's like natural shows I could do, but I kind of thought, I mean, they're a lot smaller, you know, there's not as much publicity going on. And with me doing the whole YouTube thing too, it's kind of like, I might as well get as much, you know, in the spotlight as I can and build as many connections as possible. So as you can see on here, upcoming events, no way, hold on. 2023 shows. Okay, so here it is. You can see right here, August 12th, right here, is going to be the IFBB Professional League Two Below Pro and MPC Total Body Championship. So that's the part I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to be competing in, I think, two uh, divisions. I'm going to be competing, well, I'm going to be competing in the Classic Physique category, but in terms of like division, I'm going to be doing True Novice Division, which is for anybody who, like, it's their first time stepping on a stage ever. So. That's the one that kind of gets your feet wet a little bit. It helps you like understand what competing is all about. And then I'm also going to be entering into novice, which just is basically the very first step of competing. Like, so people in this, like could have been in it before. You just like, once you enter into novice category, you cannot advance until you win a novice show. So just because I'm in novice doesn't mean it's their first time competing. Like these other people, might have competed a bunch of times they just haven't won their shows you know what i mean so i'm gonna be entering probably both of those it just depends but most likely we'll be doing both of those so the reason i want to compete um i just i've been following bodybuilding for such a long time i just like my training my diet wasn't like super locked in before it's like to where it is now and so the progress i've seen in myself over just two years roughly two years of actually like dialing in my training and dialing in my diet I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, you know? I was never confident in myself before, which is why I never even like considered competing. Uh, I would always watch it and I would always follow these big bodybuilders, but in my brain, I was never like, that's something I could do. It was always like, oh, look at those big bodybuilders. I never even like thought of doing it myself, you know, until I actually like kind of stepped back and I was like, wait a minute, there's like smaller shows. It's not just Mr. Olympia, you know? So I could actually go compete and actually potentially do one of these. So that's kind of what made me want to do it so i did get myself a bodybuilding coach and like a prep coach helped me through all this his name is ivan davis i'll put his instagram up here so you guys can check him out and know who's kind of helping me through this whole process but he's going to help me with everything he's going to get my diet right he's going to get my training down pat he's going to help me prep like posing for the show leading into the show we're going to get everything down to a t to make sure i go into the show as best prepared as I can to do as best as possible. You know what I mean? So in terms of the whole steroid thing, you know, obviously steroids and being natural or using gear and all that is always like a big thing when it comes to like online influencers and people that do all this stuff. Um, I am not going to be using anything. So my stance on the whole steroid thing is I always say if you're not going to compete to not use them and now I am competing, but I just think I've never competed before, and so before I actually can, I don't want to just hop on steroids if I don't even know what the whole experience is like. You know, I'm not just gonna be like, oh, I'm competing now. Let me just inject myself with every single thing I can. You know, like I want to go through a whole entire prep and get into like peak shape naturally, and compete and do the whole thing and see how the process is. And then if I truly like fall in love with it at that point, and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm gonna compete. You know, like this is what I want to do. Then I will consider it. I still, it still doesn't mean I'm going to. I just, I just think, you know, like say I place decently while well natural, but like I just, there's like certain things I just couldn't hit because of being natural. Or like there's guys out there that have certain features that I just cannot attain right now or something like that. And I'm like, oh, if I just, you know, hopped on a little bit, I could actually win this show. If it's something like that, like maybe, but this, again, I'm not even thinking about that right now. I just want to do it naturally. And I want to see how far I can take it without actually having to 
to, to, to hop on anything, you know what I mean? In terms of content during this time, obviously prepping for a bodybuilding competition is not easy at all. Even if you haven't done it, I'm, you know, obviously everyone talks about it, the fatigue, the, the, the stress, the mental drain of the whole thing is, is a lot. And um, I wanna get all of that documented though. All of it, like literally, like, like starting like two months out, I'm gonna start posting even more than I am now, like and kicking into like a high gear of content. Like I want to post three, at least three times a week, bare minimum of like the whole prep and the whole thing. Like I wanna get my meals in, I wanna, I wanna document what I'm eating, my training regimens, I wanna like show you guys my posing practices and all that stuff, I wanna do it all. If you guys have seen C-Bums, uh, Chris Bumstead's prep series before he goes into the Olympia, like the production of that and the way that he films that is like, that's ex that's very similar to what I want. Obviously I'm not just gonna copy him and just use the same filters and the same music and all, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just going to take that style of video, put my own twist on it and kind of, you know, use that in the ways that I think would benefit my channel and benefit me the most. It's just gonna be a grind on putting out content, training, getting myself in the best shape while also kind of sharing the experience with you guys who actually care to watch along the way. And yeah, you know, hopefully, you know, this is something that a lot of people will be interested in keeping up with. If not, it is what it is. It's something I wanna do. If people wanna watch and they're entertained by it, that's cool. If not, I'm enjoying this whole process, right? Like. Views are not everything to me. Obviously, it's, so, it's very appreciated when people watch and subscribe and like and all that stuff, but it's not its not gonna make or break this for me. Like, what makes or breaks it for me is my experience with it. If I enjoy it, I'm going to keep doing it. If I don't, I won't, <laughs> you know what I mean? And like, thus far, I've enjoyed every bit of it. I've enjoyed the little deadlift series I've done, even if it gets not as many views as, you know, asking college kids questions or max out day and stuff like that. Like, even if the views aren't skyrocketing, I'm enjoying doing it. I'm enjoying the editing process. I'm enjoying learn, learning how to Photoshop. I'm enjoying learning how to navigate through Premiere and stuff like that. So, and the whole process has been super fun so far, but that's gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up about the competition I'm gonna be entering in. I just kinda wanted to show you, you know, the website, show you what I'm entering in, give you a little bit of details about that. Let you know about content-wise, how I'm going to document that and what I'm gonna do for that and just, Again, just a little update on that. And so I appreciate you guys tuning in for this little update video. And thank you for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all those fun things. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.